and that is skeptic. So on 1st April 2013, Skeptic received a government grant of $8 million towards the purchases of new plants with a gross cost of $64 million. The plant has an estimated useful life of 10 years and is depreciated on straight line basis. One of the terms of the grant is that the sale of the plant before 31st March 2017 would trigger a repayment on a sliding scale as follows. When you sell it on 31st March, you will pay 100%. When you sell it uh, 2014, you pay 100%. 2015, 75. 2016, uh, 50%. 2017, 25%. Accordingly, the directors propose, they've not done it yet, but they are proposing to credit the statement of profit or loss with how much? Two million dollars, which is 25% of the eight million. Being the amount of grants they believe has been earned in the year ended 31st March 2014. Skeptic accounts for government grants as a separate item on deferred credit in its statement of financial position. Skeptic has no intention of selling the asset before the end of its useful life. The requirement is not there, but the requirement is this. How should Skeptic account for the above transaction? How should Skeptic account for the above transaction? How should skeptic account for the above transaction? In the financial statement for the year ended 31st March 2014. In the financial statement for the year ended 31st March 2014. For the year ended 31st March 2014. Mm -hmm. What do you think they are supposed to do, GG, government grant? Will you agree with their proposal or you do something else? First of all, the cost of the, the government grant, the, the grant is 8 million. Good. It's very important we take dates into consideration, right? Yes. So when is this starting? First April. First April. 2013. Right? And then the year ended we are dealing with is 31st March 2014. Is that one year? Yeah, that's yes. a full year. One year. Good. And we are buying an asset at a cost of how much? 60 million. Mm. And we received a grant of 8 million. The asset? It is uh, 64. 64, okay. And we receive a grant of 8 million. Mm -hmm. And the economic useful life of the assets is also 10 years. So. Depreciation is straight line. Depreciation is straight line, good. And even if that statement was not mentioned or was not made, we will still have that on what? The straight line letter. So, how should a grant be accounted for? Will you go for what the directors have proposed or you do something else? According to IAS 20, how should grants be accounted for? Uh, grants should be accounted for on the, like for a number of years. So we account for it as an So it means from what you're saying, it means we account for a grant as a deferred income. Mm -hmm. And amortize it over what? The economic useful life. So the proposal of the directors, will you agree with them or you do otherwise? The directors are proposing to credit the profit or loss with 2 million, which is 25% of uh, the 8 million. Will you agree with their proposal? Or their proposal is wrong? Uh, I, I <laughs> Yeah, 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 you do 25% mm -hmm. of the 8 million, yes. giving them 2 million. Yes. Being the amount of grant they believe has been earned in the year, the first match. So, you so, are the accountant. Will you side with them? Have they done the right thing? Are they proposing the right thing? Or they are proposing the wrong thing? <laughs> 
What do you think? Um, I think um, using that will not give us the one on the balance uh, as a deferred income. As like using the eight million by twenty five. Mm -hmm. And they got two million. They got two million. Mm -hmm. Being the amount of grand the has been earned in the year. So my question is, would you agree to their proposal or they are wrong? So it's like two of us. Are they wrong or they are right? Uh, Based on your understanding from I IAS twenty. I think I think I think the uh, They are wrong. They are wrong. Yes. Why are you afraid of telling them they are wrong? <laughs> <laughs> they are wrong. Yeah. Because what he mentioned earlier was that the grant should be recognized as what? A deferred yeah. income and yeah. amortized yeah. over yeah. its economic useful life. So what they are proposing is wrong. Yeah. And like I always say, the directors, now this one I just say it in class for class understand. The directors are bondelism. They did MBA, MSc, they don't mm -hmm. understand financial standards. So if you, the financial accountant or the chartered accountant is coming in, you don't do what they believe. You do what must be done based on what? The standard. So if based on the standard, then what do we do then? Number one, for the year ended, we need to calculate depreciation on the assets, isn't it? Yes. So let's go with that. Depreciation. That will be 64 million over 10 years. And I think that should give us 6.4. Yes. Then the grants that we uh, allocate. So the grant chart will be 8 million also over 10. And that should give us 0 0.8 million. Yes. So that's it. So now, what is the current value of our assets, the plants that we bought? It's going to be 64 million. Minus 6.4 .4 million, and that is 57.6 57 million. Then, what will be the carrying value of our grants? 8 million minus 0 0.8 million, and that will be 7.2 million. Does it make sense? Yeah. So, what they have done is wrong, you must do the right thing. So, let's extract the financial statement and let's see what comes there. So in our income statement is an extract for the year ended the 31st March 2000. Always the year must be important because assuming this thing was less than a year, you know we we'll do this is better. whatever. Are you getting the idea? So first, the grants received during the year will be 0 0.8 and then the depreciation that is 6.4 now remember one is an income one is an expenses so we put a depreciation in brackets so this is two this is one so that's the income statement then we go to the statement of financial position under working a million under non-current assets the plant will be brought and that is what? 57.6 57.6 and then we go to the liabilities because grant is recognized as a liability and the non-current liability will bring the grants and that will be 7.2 that's it that's it so the directors and look at the final statement that was there it says Skeptic has no intention of selling the plants before the end of their life. So once they don't want to sell their plants, we have to go ahead and what? account for it in relation to that. Now, even if they have an intention of selling the plants at any point in, in, the, in, in the life, it will still be accounted for like this. And then when they actually sell the plants, then the double entry will be what? Done. So let's say, maybe let's just do an example here for you so that we explain that well. Let's say they sell it on 26, uh, 2016. In 2016, how much would they pay? 50%? Yes. Now, so look at it. From 2013, so year one, so to uh, X4 is one, X2 is 
2. And then x, uh, no, x4 is 1. x5 is 2 years. Mm -hmm. x6 is what? 3 years. So let's say they are selling on x6. So we will charge uh, in here. What is the grant? Grant? Yeah, grant. 0 0.8 times what? 3. And that will give us what? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, 2.4. 2.4. So follow the idea. If even if, if they will sell it at 06, we will still account for it like this. So at 06, the current value of the grant will be 8 million minus what? 2.4. And that will give us 5.6. 5.6. I follow your concept. Yeah. So now if they are supposed to repay 50%. What is 50% of the entire grant? Four. That's four. Four, isn't it? Yeah. So what will be the double entry? Simple. We'll credit the cash with the four million they are paying. Then we'll debit the grant account. And you put the all. 5.6. We will just debit it with what? The four million. And then can you move still? 1.6. And the company will recognize that as what? An income for the year under condition. Okay. okay. Do you get the picture there very well? So whether they will repay or they won't repay, this is how grants must be what accounted for. And on the year or at the date of the repay, whatever repayment they are supposed to make, you credit the cash book. Then you debit the grant account. If what is in the grant account cannot cover what they are paying, then the balancing figure will go to the income statement as an expenses for the year. Okay. Okay, yeah. So that is it. So that's the answer to that question on the grant.